I can't be asked to give a shit about what's going on with FouseyTube anymore. He's having another public crash out, another manic episode where he's beating the hell out of his employees after he fires them. He's having all these like clips of him scenes and, and doing some crazy shit, like passing out in the middle of the of the of the road, running out into the middle of the road, hitting his hitting himself and beating the fuck out of himself. He's just like it, it's very scary to see someone stoop down to this level, but at the same time, he does this like every other year and I'm just kind of sick of it, right? Because it really just, it doesn't come off as authentic anymore. It comes off as him just trying to get as much attention as he possibly can by any means necessary. It seems like that's all he actually really cares about. Just yesterday, I think he was actually like having a whole like public back and forth between himself and Bryce Hall of all people. And I just can't be asked to give a shit about his mental health anymore because he obviously doesn't give a shit about his mental health because it goes back all the way back when he was faking pranks on his YouTube channel, which there are tons of videos that prove that he was faking videos. If you want to go watch them, just go search up FouseyTube fake pranks there. You can literally find them immediately. There was a point in time where he was faking being homeless, freezing his assets and getting rid of everything, but keeping the camera so he can go around and try to survive out in, in, the, in the wild, I guess. And like basically live off of the kindness and generosity of other people but let's be honest that's not really what he was doing he was just doing it more for the social validation of, of the internet and getting the validation from them and social media getting as many views and, and attention as possible because that's really all he cares about uh he had the whole hate dies love arrives july 15th event where he literally like was going insane the whole time the event itself was absolutely god awful and just was not entertaining in any way whatsoever he was stalking drake at the time and has like all these like weird creepy clips of him like being at, at the outside of like drake's hotel and like where he's at and where he's staying just last year he uh i think it was also last year where these two things ended up happening but he had sex with like a very vulnerable girl and in, in an airport restroom so completely like using her for his own self-benefit and then once he realizes that he fucked up he's like no i was just kidding i didn't do that it was whatever yada yada, yada. And he tries to pretend like it didn't happen with but we saw it we, we like we saw it actively happen we have the video evidence of it happening uh he swatted himself by saying like someone has like a gun pointed towards him and he like he's like, uh, like there's a threat to his life and etc just and, and then, like, just recently, like, I was talking about how he how he punched his employee. I think it was his manager. I don't know what he was talking about. I just saw the clip where they're having a back and forth. The, the employee, the ex-employee, is, like, very calm and just talking to him like a normal person. Fusi is, like, yelling and screaming at him. Uh, the employee is about to leave. He tells Fusi to go suck his dick. And then Fusi goes and punches him in the face. And then afterwards, he posts a video of him saying, like, kick has every right to ban him but he doesn't care because he's gonna go on twitch and continue to keep live streaming anyways kick bans him and he's like yeah fuck all these people they can't come to my funeral on all this shit yada 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 and then he posts a video of him crying in front of the camera because he got banned off of twitch or uh kick excuse me and he's like oh but that was fussy who was doing all that stuff my adrenaline has calmed down and now i'm back to yusuf i'm so much more calm now and uh the whole g7 gang and all that stuff and it's just i just don't care anymore i just i don't care what's going on with fussy anymore this happens every other fucking year every year he, he starts doing all this crazy shit and i just can't be asked to give a shit about his mental health anymore because he doesn't care about his own mental health because if he truly cared, he would be taking his medication to be able to keep his mental health in check, right? And make sure that he's in a stable position in his life where he's taking care of himself mentally and physically. But he doesn't care, right? On his Discord, he's actively talking about how he's going to go and, like, do drugs and smoke cigarettes and do all this crazy shit. And just, I don't care, right? It really just comes off as the fact that he's just... Uh, he's looking for attention, social validation from social media. Whenever he does something stupid and gets called out for it, he, he goes back on himself and on, on whatever he was doing and is like, oh, but it was my mental health, my mental health and, and my depression and my anxiety and all this bullshit was the one that was causing me this. I wasn't the one actually doing it anyways. It was like my split personality called Fusi that did this. And just, I just don't care. I don't care what's going on with Fusi. I hope that he eventually figures himself out and then he, he gets his life together and he ends up figuring out what he needs to do to stop doing this and then he actually gets the help that he desperately fucking needs. 
but I'm not hoping for it anymore, right? I'm not going to hope for it anymore. I'm not going to pay attention to what this fucking idiot is doing. I just don't care. I don't care what's going on with Fusi anymore. I think people are finally starting to wake up and they're realizing that Fusi doesn't, Fusi doesn't want to help. People have been trying to get him the help that he needs, but he doesn't want to listen, right? Because he doesn't care enough about himself. He doesn't care about anyone around him. <laughs> he, it's so strange that, that, that I say that because I say that he doesn't care about himself, but clearly the only person that he actually gives a shit about is himself, right? But only in the terms of getting the satisfaction and the social validation that he so desperately didn't get in his own personal life and that he so desperately wants. So, yeah, anyways, just... I don't care, right? Hopefully, in the future, Fusi will figure himself out because he's like 34, 35 years old. So he's a grown-ass man who's still acting this fucking way from like five, six, seven years ago. I just don't care. I don't care about what's going on with Fusi. I don't feel bad. Because all, all he's going to do is that he's going to crash out like this. He's going to blame his mental health. He's going to defend himself by saying, oh, it was my mental health that caused this and that and yada, yada, yada. And I don't care. Right? I don't feel bad for Fusi. I'm not going to hope for, for Fusi anymore. Uh, because people have been giving him second chances over and over and over again. And he squanders them every single time. I don't give a shit. Fusi, if you're watching this, which maybe you are, but probably not. Because, you know, I'm not on that scale. <laughs> fuck off honestly just get the fuck off the internet dude retire like whatever you got to do just, just stay away from, from from the internet because you obviously can't handle it anymore so yeah that's pretty much it if you liked the video be sure to like if you want to see more please be sure to subscribe i also want to give a shout out to the members so far there's only one with Patreon 360 i really appreciate it i would really highly consider joining the memberships i really appreciate it but you don't have to but yeah that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace Let the